in this gospel, whenever I read it and uh, I hear that Mary followed the law by taking Christ Jesus to be purified, I often ask myself, why did Mary do this? Because Mary was mother of Jesus, who is God. But despite being mother of Jesus, who is our Lord, Mary was still humble to follow the, the law. This is something to, to challenge all of us. Mary showed a good example. Perhaps you would have thought that, oh, I'm the mother of the Savior. I do not need to, to keep these traditions. I'm above them. But Mary didn't have any of such thoughts. He kept the law. He took Jesus to the church, which was prescribed in the law of Moses, to be purified and to offer sacrifice to God. And in keeping the law, this not only brings peace to Mary or to the parents, but we are that it brings peace to, even to others as well. Simeon, who was in the temple at that time, he got the joy and peace just because Mary had kept the law and come to to present the Lord to, to go, the Lord to God. Had Mary not kept this law, Simeon wouldn't have rejoiced. So I think this gospel calls each one of us to, to always desire, to always have the love of keeping God's commandment and of even keeping the law of the state. We are in this present time when things keep changing and we have to adjust to different laws coming up, but laws to, to make us better. We always see about QR code, isolation, but all these laws, most of them are there to help us get better. So Mary is challenging us today. The mother of our savior followed the law and traditions and in the first reading, we had John also mentioning about keeping the law of God. And John was saying that if we say we love God and we don't keep his commandments, there is no love at all. And the love of neighbor, love of brother, if we say we love God and we don't love brother, it's like we don't love God as, God as well. So let us always keep asking the Lord to love keeping the law, to love keeping his commandments, just as Mary did it out of love. And the saint we are celebrating today, Saint Thomas, he also suffered martyrdom because he was so strong and so strong and had the courage to keep the law. That's why he was martyred. He didn't want to let the, the law of God be changed by the king. So he always had that love to keep the law. So let us pray therefore that God should always give us the strength to keep his law, the strength and the love to love one another as well. So because in loving one another, we also love God as well.